Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Masu Pro Wrestling. I'm your host and sole commentator, Masu Pro Wrestling Ton, and tonight we're going to start off with the first round of an Idol Division number one contendership championship tournament. And to start us off will be Emrys Morgana, the most recent debuting Idol, coming off of a loss against T the Sheba. Gareth and Merlin in their corner. T the Sheba getting revenge on Emrys for taking her out in the last sort of tournament for the Idol Division Championship. But this will be the first round. We will have two first round matches this week. Two first round matches next week. Can Emrys earn her shot at her first Idol Division Championship? She has not gotten a lot of luck as of recent. She's been unable to pick up a win, yet even with the two muscly men in her corner. Emrys Morgana is going to start us off for the night. And we will see who her opponent will be one-on-one. -on -one. Her opponent will be... I mean, nearly the exact opposite, if I would say, of Emrys Morgana. Emrys is, you know, dark, brooding, angry, and now we have happy, bright, bubbly, minty Clovers coming off her loss at of at, her loss at As Good As Gold. Minty was unable to climb the ladder. She almost got the championship, was unable to pick up the Idol Division Championship. Could she go all the way once again? and earn herself another title shot. Minty Clovers, no matter what, it's gonna be a good day whether you win or lose. Gareth circling the ring. Merlin Clapton, Minty, very polite. <laughs> I mean, respect, game respects game, I suppose. Emrys versus Minty. It's very rare you see respect like that from Merlin. It's very rarely you see... Oops, pinning back kick dodge. It's very rarely you actually see Merlin or... Oh, drop kick in the back of the head off the springboard. Very rare that you see Merlin and Gareth uh, in these matches when they're usually in the other corner. I think this is the first time we've actually seen them like that. We will have nothing but tournament matchups this week here. There's going to be two Idol Division tournament matches and two Icon Division tournament matches to determine the number one contender for both Sleepy Pengu and Rocky's World Championships. Minty. I don't know what she's planning there, but she's thinking about something. Cat and mouse in it a little bit. Setting Emrys on the ropes. Knee strikes. What could Minty be planning in this position? <laughs> Knee to the back. Sending Emrys up and out of the ring. Emrys Morgana with that right hand rocks Minty Clovers. Inverted DDT falling. Inverted DDT. Having those special premium live events are nice, but nothing's... Feels as good as coming back home to the good old MPW Arena and Thursday Night Throwdown. Through the middle rope! Oh my god, rolling in! Minty Clovers! Kick out at one! Catching Emrys off guard with that face buster. Not to be confused with the fuck buster. Standing Shooting Star Press. That's the only Shooting Star Press I've actually called in recent weeks. That's actually a Shooting Star Press. Unlike all the moon salts I've been calling. Northern Light, belly to belly, or. Yeah. Rolls through, covers her. Falling, inverted DDT. Now Emrys has got that momentum shifted back into her. Spinning back kick to the stomach. 
Educated feet of Emrys, belly to belly by Minty. The most devastating hug in the business. Off the ropes, bumps him. Blocks the clothesline and gets to the back. He's gonna start targeting Minty's legs again. The submission specialist of Emrys Morgana. Trying to wear down Minty's legs. Chess lobbing her with punches. German suplex hook the arms. I mean, this could be a first shot at Emer for Emrys at the Idol Division Championship. For Minty, this could be another shot at becoming a two-time Idol Division Champion. The bosses upstairs pick the four members of this tournament. Jumping over Emre. Emre's just... The athleticism. Caught with the back elbow. Near fall for Minty. And Emrys is getting pissed. The anger obviously showing from Emrys. I mean, shades of Merlin. Merlin and Gareth get that angry too. Oh my god, neck breaker from the sky! <laughs> An elevated neck breaker. Minty Clover is looking for something here. Has Emrys in position. Off the ropes, Clover Cutter spiking Emrys head first, 180 degrees into the floor. Could be moving on in this tournament. No, Emrys kicks out. Minty Clover's. Nearly putting Emrys out. Knee strikes to the back. And now Minty going up top. Elbow drop, but crashes and also burns. Emrys misses the kick. Legs a little bit too short. Chucks under. Arm drag, tossing Minty Clovers. Using her momentum against her. She's gonna get him in the corner. Emrys hasn't been able to get a lot of wins off, and Minty Clovers is familiar with that feeling. Emrys is looking for her wins here and an opportunity at the title. Minty Clovers on the outside. Emrys cross body to the floor. And Minty has done a couple of those to people. Back elbow beats the clothesline. And just tossing Minty's back into the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Three count. We could have a double elimination, double disqualification. Would give someone a buy in this tournament. But we will not see that. As Emrys throws Minty back into the ring. And now an elbow drop for Emrys this time. In the center of the ring. Hooks the legs, shoulders down. One, two, kick out, shoulders up. Emrys is learning. That Minty Clovers doesn't go down so easily. Learning that Minty Clovers is one of the hardest idols to put away. But the hemlock applied. Can she make Minty tap out the hemlock? Wrapped around and she does. Minty Clovers taps out and Emrys will move on in the Idol Division Championship Tournament. Picking up a win. Taking out a former Idol Division champion, Emrys Morgana. With Merlin and Gareth behind her. A very eerie feeling washes over me seeing these three together like this. As we will move on to our second match of the night. All right, it is time for the second match of the night. This is for the Icon Division Tournament, number one contenders tournament. A Gaelic Angel will be starting us out for the Icon Division, the former Openweight Champion, the former two-time Openweight Champion. Angel is coming off two very hard-fought losses. 
in his open weight championship defense. He lost it to Glitchy Bastards and in his, in his Icon Division Championship Challenge match. He lost the shot at the Icon Division Championship. And now he's back to where he began. Can he outlast three other icons picked by the boss upstairs? Or will Angel be on the on the bench once again for this month of MPW? Gaelic Angel has had some impressive wins here, was unable to pick up the big ones on Saturday, but I mean, when you've if you've done it once, you can do it again. And Angel has shown that he's capable of achieving those goals. Can he do it again? Gaelic Angel is the only two-time openweight champion, so I mean, say what you want about the guy. You can armchair wrestle him as much as you want, tell him what he could have done better in those two championship matches, but at the end of the day, he is the only two-time openweight champion. To become a champion once is, is incredibly challenging. To become it twice, near impossible. And Angel is going to have somewhat of a rematch against Tabby Cat. Tabby Cat nearly had that opportunity, Angel did. Could it have been a fluke? Is Tabby going to prove to the world that that was a fluke? Angel only won that. And in this rematch, he can prove that he's going to win. And that he deserved that championship shot. Once again, this young up-and-comer being thrusted into title opportunity after title opportunity. Can Tabby pull it off? We will see. This is like a proving ground for Angel that I bet he's not really uh, too pleased with. Angel proved that, hey, I earned that shot. I got it. I beat Tabby Cat originally. He unfortunately loses, must feel frustrated with himself, and now must feel even more frustrated that he's got to be facing the same guy he already beat once. But, I mean, if Angel's that frustrated, he's just got to prove that he can do it again. You know, you've done it once. Do it again, Angel. Prove to us that you can do it and that you deserve that title opportunity once again. Gaelic Angel versus Tabby Cat to start the first match of the first round for the Icon Division Championship number one contender match. Test of strength to start us off, and Tabby Cat's going to win that one. Fireman's carry Angel into the corner. Tabby Cat is one of the more unorthodox, unknown wrestlers in MPW. We haven't seen too much, and he is the latest addition to the Icon Division roster. Inverted face buster. Oh, TDT! Just that 180 plank. Angel. Suplex. No nonsense from Angel early on. Back of the head drop kick. I see that fr you can see the frustration just dripping off Angel in this match. Coming off two championship losses in one night. He's taking it out on Tabby. A much more aggressive side of Angel is being seen here tonight. Tabby's going to can exploit it though with this power slam, planting him into the mat on that concrete floor. You want to keep a leveled head when you're in a match like this. You don't want to throw your opportunity in the first round that early. Ooh, the overhead chops. A pause of fury as Tabby gets sent into the barricade. And a back body drop to the barricade. Five count. A count out victory is a valid victory in this tournament. Inverted neck breaker. And they're cutting it close, but a double count out would mean both of them lose. Angel tossing Tabby into the barricades at a seven count. It's an eight count now. Angel could choose to break up the count or he's waiting nine count. Angel, the frustration showing, he just takes him out. No nonsense. 
takes Tabby to the outside and quickly finishes it. My God. Angel says, screw this. I'm just taking the win going home. Angel moving on in the Icon Division tournament. I mean, very dominant count out victory though. I mean, some call that the easy way out, but I mean, that's how you win these matches. We take it, a wins, a wins, a wins, a win. Angel just making swift work with Tabby Cat. I mean, once again, welcome to the big leagues, kids, as we will move on to our third match of the night. And that will be another Icon Division Championship Tournament matchup. It is the mid-card main event of the evening. And we were continuing the Icon Division ch number one contendership tournament, and it will be a newly debuting member of the Icon Division. It is Dobby. He ain't no house elf. This man is built like a tank. Dobby will be making his debut here. We saw Tabby, the former newest member of the MPW roster, lose their match. Will it be the same for Dobby, or will they be able to pick up not only their debut match, but a shot at the Icon Division Championship? This guy is big and bulky, and we are ready. And his opponent tonight in singles competition is someone we've already seen tonight, just not in a matchup. And I mean, what a what more of a worse welcoming party can you get for a Dobby? And facing one of these two, it will be Merlin GTB versus Dobby for a shot at the Icon Division Championship. And of course, well, Merlin's around Gareth's not, not it's just around the corner, if I, if you will. Emrys absent, it seems. Very interesting. Berlin, the ringleader of sorts, if you if you may guess. I mean, Emrys, maybe he's not calling those shots, but Merlin and Gareth were here earlier to watch Emrys win her opening contest, or the opening contest in her first match in the Idol Division tournament. Can Merlin follow suit and uh, lead by example here against the new debuting Dobby? <clears throat> Certainly an uphill battle for the start with Dobby. Numbers advantage not in his favor, but I gotta say, I don't know if Gob if Dobby is Italian, but this man is fucking Gaba goop pilled out of the out of his mind with that shirt. Holy moly. Give him a gold chain and call him call him Dobby. Gabo Goop. I don't know if I would ever want to stand across the ring against a guy dressed like Dobby. This dude just seems like a dude that would kick your ass at a bar. And that looks exactly like what he's going to do. Jesus. Rocks Merlin and tossing him. Very rarely do we see someone match Merlin's strength. And very rarely do we see someone toss a guy like Merlin like he's weightless. The height advantage. I think they're both equally similar heights. And there goes Merlin stopping the onslaught. <clears throat> Gonna show some of his strength. Fall away slam. Both these guys are very bulky. Need or foot to the gut. Oh my god. Flattens him. Floats him over. What is he doing here? Hooked leg. Trying to get him into a looks like arm hooked Boston crab. Not quite fully in, but 
Merlin gets that right hand to the temple, sliding off the temple. Rolling Thunder. Nope, Samoan drop. That was a great combination of movements to get into that Boston Crab power bomb. Just oh, hitting the back of the head on every rope. Hitting the rope on the way down. Merlin doing some magic spins there. I have no idea what happened there. Back, back of the head, axe handle off the top. And then a gut wrench power bomb. Dobby in the corner and Merlin running club to the back of the head. Overhand clubs. Dobby though. Oh, taking it to him. Speed and power. Gareth's not even paying attention. I think I think Gareth didn't even didn't even know what happened. And now deadlift from Dobby. Teaching giving Merlin some more of his medicine here. Full mount onto Merlin. Just rocking him with lefts and rights, MMA style. Merlin finally gets up though. Ooh, Yakuza kick! Yakuza kick by Merlin takes the big man down. Kick out though. Merlin's pissed. I mean, this would be a big opportunity for Dobby, not only winning his opening match or his first ever match, but advancing in the op in the Icon Division Championship. Oh my God! But Dobby might be seeing stars as Merlin plants him in the center of the ring, shoulders down. This might be it for the new kid. Shoulders up though, and. Merlin arguing at the ref saying, hey, buddy, count three. But that certainly was a two count. I don't think there's any arguments to the ref there. That wasn't even a 2.9. That was a solid two count. And Dobby, just a flurry of punches. Gareth seems to be like in a daze. He's barely paying attention to the match right now. Elbow to the top of the head. Merlin trying to get some distance. And Dobby's going to meet him all the way. No. Merlin barely gets inside the ring beforehand. Oh my god. Just launching him with that power bomb. Elevated power bomb. Jack Jackknife? <laughs> Ooh. The clothesline nearly taking Merlin's head off. Back body drop. The momentum swinging in Dobby's favor. Spine buster to the former Icon Division champion. And now Garrett's going to get a word in edgewise. Trying to break that momentum, distracting Dobby. And it works perfectly once again. Dobby, though, power bomb. Two. Kick out. Dobby going up top. What could he potentially be planning from the top rope? Double axe handle blocked by Merlin. Rolled through the drop kick though, as these two trade blows. Now Dobby just pulling at the nose and beard of Merlin. Ooh, stomp to the back of the neck. And Gareth trying to catch Dobby off guard again. Merlin takes the distraction. Rib breaker. Off the ropes and a splash. The odds are certainly against Dobby here. Merlin might be looking for the magic missile drop kick. He's waiting for Dobby to get up. Dobby is in a dangerous position. Oh no, it wasn't a, it was a double axe handle. Sidewalk slam. No, backbreaker. Bane style backbreaker. Break his back, make him humble. As the Iron Sheik once said many a times. Powerbomb in the corner again, bouncing his head off every turnbuckle. Rope break at one count, though. Way too close to the ropes for Merlin. Merlin should have known that. Q 
Keeping the match alive is Dobby, though. On his debut match, Merlin eyeing him up. Maybe looking for another seeing stars. Gets caught with it again. Seeing stars connects. Good night, Dobby. With shenanigans from Gareth. Merlin moves along. Truly the most sour welcoming party that Dobby could ever get. Gareth up pardon and Merlin celebrate to the reins of a rain of booze from the crowd. I would take nothing away from Dobby. Gareth got himself involved with that match to secure the victory for Merlin. A disgusting showing once again by the Wizard Kings. But we'll move on to our main event of the night, the last idol, or the last idol match of the night. I should, I mean, it's the main event, but idol division, number one contender tournament, let's kick it. It is time for the main event of the evening, the idol division, number one contender tournament. The MPW Open Weight Champion, Glitchy Bastards, will make her way to the ring. She won that as in her return match at As Good As Gold. Beat Angel, and maybe Glitchy could be the first ever dual champion. After her return, Glitchy has completely gotten a complete makeover, rechange, but it's still that same brutal glitchy was able to pick up a win against angel how will she fare in her in the first round of the number one contenders tournament but she will have to defend that open weight championship though before the next pay-per-view because the open weight championship is defended two times as many times as any world championship is Her challenger is someone she's very familiar with, or not challenger, her opponent tonight will be dancing with Draven. Draven and Glitchy have, were at war since the beginning of MPW, and as of recent, they haven't been too in intertwined with each other, but these two are some of the most dominant idol division champions of their generation. And they both have a shot. Draven, if she wins this tournament, would have a shot at the Idol Division Championship and a shot at her third Idol Division Championship. She could have, be a three-time champion. She was the first ever Idol Division Champion. She was the first ever two-time Idol Division Champion. And I mean, Angel won his opportunity at the Openweight Championship. Draven... If winning here could earn an opportunity against Glitchy. It's all due to the whims of the bosses upstairs. We'll have to see. I don't think Draven has ever had an opportunity for a shot at the Openweight Championship. I mean, Glitchy and Draven know each other so well, but... Draven has not seen Glitchy like this. Glitchy Bastards versus Draven one-on-one -on -one for, for the Idol Division Championship Tournament. Takes the big last down. The height advantage is definitely in Glitchy's favor here. Over the top ropes to the floor is Draven sent to Glitchy. And I mean, Glitchy is still a very dominant and terrifying force in the ring but i do got to say that like the old glitchy used to be a lot more menacing a lot scarier a lot more evil if you will and i feel like this glitchy has come back with a renewed sense of uh sense of uh, compassion maybe for people outside of the ring at least I i've seen her backstage and she's not thrown tantrums or attempted to kill anyone which is super great for the work environment here hr is feeling very happy you know, I think this is what therapy does to some people, honestly. It really can be very helpful. 
Her skin is is glowing compared to her. Her skin was very gray back in the day. Her eyes, you know, the the lights are revitalizing her eyes as she. Oh my God, works the legs of Draven here. <laughs> So I gotta say, overall, I think this change for Glitchy is one for the better. A lot, a lot more positive, but we'll see. I mean, she's still beating the shit out of Draven and people, so. Glitchy, probably the tallest member in MPW, and Draven, definitely one of the smaller in MPW, but... Height and size doesn't always matter here in the MPW arena. Though Glitchy is taking this full, like, in full control this entire match so far. I don't think Draven's gotten any offense. Off the ropes, and as I say that, she rolls through it. Landing on her knees. And Draven's gonna slow it down. Whew. Glitchy is feeling it, though. They're slowing down the pace of the match, but Glitchy now squeezing the life of Draven. We could see a tap out. I mean, we've seen one tap out already. Could we see Glitchy tap out Draven here? No. The One of these two will go on to face Emrys Morgana two weeks from now. Gonna cover Glitchy, long legs pulled up. Who drops her, grabs the leg again, working the big legs. You wanna chop down the base of the tree that is Glitchy here. Working on the legs, making sure that she can't, uh, she doesn't have a lot of speed or momentum here. The legs are a very important part, trying to keep her on the ground as much as possible. And just using the momentum of Draven off those ropes, slingshotting her. Glitchy's eyeing Draven across the ring and is going to run head first, shoulder tackle off the apron. And sends Draven back into the ring. Over the top rope is Glitchy. Ooh. <laughs> this is what I mean when I say height isn't always the the best thing. Is It's a lot more difficult to grab onto someone like Draven and hold her when she's so small she just slides through your grip. Goozles Draven, though. Lifting her over the head for the frame drop. Could be moving on to the next round. Will Glitchy be facing Emerus Morgana in the next round? No. Draven barely gets that kick up, or that kick out. DDT. And now Draven goes for the cover. Referee a little bit out of position there, or he, he removed himself from position to get out of position. I don't know what he was doing there. Draven snapmare off the ropes. Drop kick to the side. Twisting the arm. Draven's trying to take control. Keep the match slow. Not expend as much energy as she needs to to get the uh, the amount of damage she is off on. She is getting off onto. But she, excuse me, I have no idea what I'm saying. It's been a long night. Drop the leg to the gut. Sound of night to Glitchy. Hooks the leg. One, two. No! Draven nearly moving on. Neither of these two want to give it give it away. Oh my god, the chops and the slaps from Draven. I feel like Draven hasn't had a shot at the title in a while. But maybe I'm just wrong. <laughs> Throwing Draven up the ramp. I mean, fighting in front of the crowd. Moving away, away from the padded protection. Oh, 
Just double hand goozles Draven and tossing her into the concrete. Six count. They are halfway to ten. If they both get counted out, Emrys gets a bye. I mean, Emrys is probably watching this very closely. We could see a count out loss for Draven. Glitchy's looking to take that count out loss, maybe. Nine. Draven's got to get up soon. Draven is not up. And 10, and Glitchy picks up the win, and Draven is going to make her way back to the ring, it looks like. Making her way back to Draven, and Draven extends the hand, and or Glitchy extends a hand, and Draven, a sign of sportsmanship between these two here. Very shocking to me, but Draven respects the game, and we will see you guys next week for some more MPW. Hell has certainly frozen over.